Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will look at the changes made in version 2.1.1 to the way the console masks parameters when recording to lists, scenes and palettes. In version 2.1.1, two different masking schemes are now available. The default masking scheme is additive masking, which is how it was handled prior to version 2.0. When command keys such as record, merge and copy are pressed, the mask menu opens with a clear mask. All record eligible kinds can be highlighted, which adds them to the mask. With subtractive masking, introduced in version 2.0, all record eligible kinds are highlighted to begin with. By deselecting them, they are removed from the mask. The current masking scheme is indicated to the right of the command line. The scheme can be changed in Preferences under the Recording tab. By holding down the PIG key whilst pressing Record or Merge, the current masking scheme is reversed one time only. Regardless of whether additive or subtractive masking is used, if the mask menu is clear, then all parameters in the Active Editor are recorded. Likewise, when a kind mask is used in the command line syntax, the mask menu initially opens with just those kinds highlighted. You will also notice that only kinds which have function values in the Active Editor are selectable and all other kinds are now greyed out. In version 2.0, write permissions for palette directories were added to the HOG4 OS. It's important to understand that these have now been replaced by default directory masking options. In the same way as with permissions, a legend for the default directory mask is displayed at the top of each directory window. The mask can be changed by selecting the legend and selecting or deselecting fixed kinds from the menu. Regardless of whether additive or subtractive masking is used, the rule for how masking works with palettes is the same. When pressing record or merge, if the mask menu is empty, then the default directory mask is used. If any kinds are selected in the mask menu, then this mask overrides the default directory mask. Let's take an example using additive masking. The default mask for the position directory contains position only, indicated by only position being highlighted in the legend. If I touch fixture 1, all parameters have values in the programmer. When record is pressed, the mask menu opens and as we are using additive masking, the mask menu is clear to begin with. If I recorded a queue now, then all parameters would be recorded. However, if I record to the position directory, only position is recorded. Since the mask menu is clear, the default mask for the position directory is used instead, which only contains the position fixed kind. Now let's look at another example, but first of all I will change the console masking scheme to be subtractive. I will also change the default mask of the position directory to include the beam fixed kind as well as position. Once again, I will touch fixture 1. This time when I press record, all eligible kinds are highlighted in the mask menu. As the mask menu is not clear, then this mask will override the default mask for the position directory, and so all values in the programmer are recorded into a position palette. If I touch fixture 1 again, followed by record, I will now press clear all in the mask menu. As the mask menu is now clear, the default mask for the position directory will once again be used, and this time, only position and beam values are recorded into the palette. In the next tutorial, we will take a more in-depth look at time-only palettes. Thank you for watching.